Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre-Market Report for October 11th, 2017. Happy Hump Day, everyone. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Uh, price continues to hold near highest, continues to trend higher, and market structure continues to be a clean, bullish market structure. And so that implies continued overall strength. You can see again, uh, here's the trigger zone. Price came right into uh, the 2485s and then rallied to new highs. One thing to keep in mind, you see this green dotted line, that, no that notes the low here of, uh, of the month. And really it's the low of the recent options expiration cycle. And from that low, it projects how far like price is likely to go based on average monthly range using this indicator. That's 100% average range, that's 75% of, of average range. And I usually say that's the primary target zone. If this is your low in an uptrending market, when you go, you should go about that much. That's about average. And that's exactly how far we've gone from that pivot low. And it took about three weeks. Very, very strong stuff here. Now, the next pullback, you see this 2517 here. You have that LVN. You see this moving average starting to come up. That's a nice trigger zone there prior pivot high, uh, pushing through it like that. So when price comes back to that structure here, that could again be another great opportunity to defend and squeeze to the next new high. And uh, so 25.17 is gonna be the key level to continue to watch. We may not get that far into 17s, like last time we were looking for 24.80, and we got only as deep as 24.85. This could be the same thing. Looking at 25.17, we might only get down to 20, you know, 5.20. Whatever the case may be, we'll watch for that pullback. We'll look for this zone to be defended by bulls and look to rotate this thing to new highs. So um, right now, that's still still the path until price fails to hold above 2500, 2504. All right, let's take a look here at crude. Here's a look at crude oil. The previous session was a big time stop run day, a big squeeze, uh, a big time move back up. Really. Un un unanticipated that we would get that much of a rally, but once price had pushed above the previous high of 50 here and had a pretty strong bullish structure, we knew right away that it was likely going to be a, a trend day up. We knew it would likely be a defend the pullbacks and defend LVNs. That's the case. We rallied right back into the FOMC key level of September 20th, and I mentioned to our group we might come all the way back to 5120s and actually take out that high and be another opportunity for bears to defend. So right now, keep an eye again on that 5120. It's a very important level. Price tried to hold above it, formed a little minor box, and then broke back below it. So right now is the earliest opportunity here where the next pullback in the 5120 could be a selling opportunity for a pullback, at least back toward value on a five-day basis. That's about 5041. On a weekly VWAP basis, it's 50-20. So we could be looking at a drop here of about 60 to 80 ticks back down, at least short term. But depending upon how much steam it catches, I mean, it could also lead to a retest of these lows and a push back to value. So right now, keep an eye on that uh, 51.20. Looking at the intraday time frame, you'll kind of see it a little cleaner here. So if you look at this 51.20, the last time we came into this level, we went into 51.22 and dropped uh, two handles. This time we come above 51.20, form this little range here, and then fail. So the next push into this zone could be an opportunity again to sell it for a return back down. And again, if we do drop downward, we have five day value to push downward. Uh, that's going to be at about 51, rather 50.40 and 50.20. So we have some of these levels down here to, to kind of strive for. So we're going to keep an eye on this one. If it does break down, we could be looking at a move back down to 5020 at the very least on a short-term basis. So that's a one-handle drop from 5120. All right, let's take a look here at the NQ. So right now, let's take a look at the higher time frame here. There we go. Now, this one's been in a, in a bullish trendy market, but it slowed down a little bit until it finally squeezed through 6K. Pushing through 6K was very bullish, and we have not returned to retest it from above. And instead, we formed a very narrow range up here, 
on a five day range basis it's not it's it's narrow but not below 65 percent if I were to put this on a four day range basis you probably see a pink bar developing because the four day range is very narrow so right here very narrow range it's been a fade the edges so every time price gets down here fade it back up price gets up here fade it back down we're not seeing expansion just yet I would say given the trend up right now what you want to do is, again, look for a pullback and look for that rejection because that could lead to another round of strength. This one could take you above 6,100, perhaps into 6,200 as the next major upside target. So still up, uptrending. Got to wait and be patient for, patient for the next pullback opportunity. Um, now, there is an opportunity where this thing could run the downside sell stops and we get one of those big one-day wonders. We're not seeing signs of that yet, obviously, um, but... Breaking down below 6020 would be a big deal because that that point you start triggering sell stops that could spark a bigger move. So keep an eye on that. Lastly, taking a look here at gold futures. Gold futures has bounced, uh, pulling back toward 1300. I mentioned yesterday any push in the 1300 or 1302 could be an opportunity to jump on and sell it down into value 1253. We came just short of value before bouncing. That's fairly unusual. Usually you want to come right back to value after going this far and that deep into it. Um, we didn't. So instead we've bounced. Now again, bounce is pretty significant. 1285 is kind of the pivot there. So bears want to keep 1300 offered for a shot at 1253s. And then bulls are going to try and keep 1285s uh, bid. So if price drops into 1285 here, that's about the spot where bulls are going to look to defend and try to squeeze yet again. So we have a couple of levels to watch. Bears are going to watch 1300 uh, and try to push through 1285. Bulls are going to try and keep 1280 to 1285 bid for a shot at squeezing back up. I think the current downtrending market suggests maybe one more wave down into that 1253. But again, 1285 is going to tell us a lot. All right, that's it for now. Let's see how this thing plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck and trade well.